welcome to another episode of Free to Play Weekly, your show for free to play games. In this week's gaming news, the open beta for Dragon Nest has launched, and with it, the level cap has been increased to 24, along with introducing new dungeons, new bosses, and a guild system. All open beta participants will earn a thank you gift of in game currency for the cash shop. Players will also earn in game shop items as they level up and complete special in game achievements. We are pleased to announce our viewers with an invite to the Scarlet Legacy closed beta with special in-game items. To get your beta key, just click on the link below. Nexon has released a brand new teaser website for the much anticipated European version of Vindictus. Said to be released in autumn, European players will get to join in on the monster slaying fun. S2 Games is joining the free to play market by making their incredibly popular Dota Askew game Heroes of New Earth free to play. The new model of the game will feature three different accounts, the standard free account that new players get, verified accounts earned by purchasing goblin coins or surpassing a certain threshold, and legacy accounts. Legacy accounts are paid user accounts that existed prior to the free to play model. These accounts receive lifetime of free access to all heroes and are able to play in verified only games to ensure that experts and beginners are separated. A wise move from the company to prevent new players from getting overburdened by its hardcore player base. Shatter their defenses and destroy their stronghold. Achieve total victory or face annihilation. These are the heroes of New Earth. RuneScape is launching its new Clan Citadel expansion. With this update, each clan gets a citadel that they can upgrade through seven tiers, unlocking more space, skilling hotspots, and impressive elements and special features. Tribal Trouble 2 is going into closed beta. The game features fast-paced real-time strategy right in your browser, and we, along with Game Samba, are pleased to offer our viewers with invites to the closed beta. To get your key, just click the link below. Wonderland Online is set to get a new update on August 2nd. With the release comes 7 days of double XP and a small amount of new features include new quests, new instances, new items and equipment, and a new pet, the Naughty Monkey. Um, I'm not gonna go there. A comic book based off of the MMO, Algonon, is available for free at the link below. Algonon is a free-to-play fantasy MMO with a massive PvP and PvP world with a deep and active community. Send us your videos in the video response, be featured on the show, and win bomb gold coins. This week's Game of the Week is Eden Eternal. Eden Eternal is a free-to-play 3D anime-style MMO. The game features customizable gear to really make yourself stand out with whatever colors you want. The game features a few playable races you don't normally see, like Frogmen. Freely switch between classes as you unlock all 15. Featuring fast-paced combat and extensive updates, this is one to give a try. If you want to know more about it, make sure to click our link below. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next week and click subscribe below.